After a photographing session that make it, made us feel like a Hollywood premiere, we uh, got off at about uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. We felt that it was our lucky day, and we knew it was. Perfection. Perfection. The will note that the first atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, a military base. Hiroshima, a military base. A military base. A military base. That was because we wished in the first attack to avoid, in so far as possible, the killing of civilians. We have used it in order to shorten the agony of war, in order to save the lives of thousands and thousands of young Americans. It's always used for good and never for evil. Dropping the atomic bomb saved their lives and our lives, Japanese lives. That's a lot of bombs over there that killed people and probably killed civil civilians. But do I regret the atomic mission? I regret we had to do it. There's a fellow here the other day, and what was it? He was saying that the Japanese should apologize to us for making us drop the atomic bomb. Everything was exactly the same as it was back in 1945. Yes, I would go on it. I would volunteer for it, as a matter of fact. I'd want to go. But since you say that you're not going to apologize, he feels that he doesn't have the I won't apologize. He should apologize. He doesn't have the heart to tell him that. I don't apologize. I don't apologize. We get into the atomic bomb as if we're in a race with Germany. And then when Germany came out of the war, when the war ended, when the Germans surrendered, what is the response of the scientists? We better hurry up and finish the bomb before the war ends. Otherwise, we won't get a chance to use it. States is trying to create a situation in which it can get away with a strike and pull it off. Now, of course, Russia and China uh, aren't going along with it. Um, we have the neoconservative ideology that is that is implanted in the United States government. And this is an ideology of world hegemony that is to dominate the world. Now, Iran. Last remaining independent country in the Middle East. 